Today I am in Ciemsko in Poland, where we are holding NATO's biggest exercise since 2006. The exercise is called Steadfast Jazz and it is an impressive display of what our very best forces can do. It brings together over 6,000 troops from across the Alliance and several of our partners. Steadfast Jazz is an exercise designed to train, test and certify the NATO Response Force, our quick reaction force. It is the spearhead of NATO. And we need to test it to make sure that it is sharp and ready for use. But Steadfast Jazz will do more than just keep the NATO Response Force fit and ready for action. It will make sure that troops across the Alliance and beyond are ready and able to work together whenever they go into action together. After two decades of NATO-led operations in the Balkans, Afghanistan, Libya and elsewhere, we now have the most capable and tightly connected forces in the world. As we prepare to complete our ISAF operation in Afghanistan next year, we want to preserve and strengthen that unique ability to work together. We will make our program of exercises, training and education more dynamic. That is the purpose of the Connected Forces Initiative that we agreed at our NATO summit in Chicago last year. Last month, NATO defense ministers took several important decisions to implement this initiative. In 2015, Spain, Portugal and Italy will host another major exercise and ministers also agreed on an ambitious exercise plan for 2016 to 2020. Our Connected Forces Initiative and our NATO Response Force will help to make sure that we are ready to defend any ally, deploy anywhere and deal with any threat.